привіт, я Діва з Ноги Боги. Ми продовжуємо поїздку по Балканам в пошуках незвичайних бігових спільнот. Після Сербії ми поїхали в Боснію і Герцеговину. Про цю країну ми знали ще менше, ніж про Сербію. Але це зробило нашу поїздку ще більш цікавою. Боснія виявилась дуже мальовничою гірською країною, які ми знайшли саме те, що шукали. Тут ми познайомилися з Нуджеймою і її клубом «Тарчання і то». I started to run March uh, 2015. First day I couldn't run even three minutes. It was too much for me. I had a goal. Uh, what the goal was to run half marathon in Sarajevo in September. And I was really stick <laughs> to that goal. And the three months it was really hard. After that, those three months I felt that moment when it, ca- it became uh, much easier for me. In six months I ran half marathon and in the same month I ran um, two more in Zenz and Ljubljana. Ramazan was uh, near and uh, I just wrote a message on my Facebook that I will run that during that Ramazan uh, late at night. So if someone wants to join, he can join me. Uh, actually, on first training there was three or four people. And uh, in the end of that Ramazan, uh, that was the group of 40 people. And uh, it started going slowly <laughs> and now we have more than 200 members, active members. At, at the beginning of the year I weighed myself. I was 92 kilograms heavy at that point, so I remember it was like the first day of the new year. And I thought, should I do anything about this again? So we are 10 years in, into this journey. I tried everything. I tried different sports, I tried different dieting methods. I got really, 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 really fat. And I got uh, up to 300 pounds, so that's like 150 kilos. I, I was on the verge of actually harming myself in some way. until. I met uh, Nuji. When she came and she said, well, we should, we, should, we should have this guy run with us. And I was like, yeah, me, me running, like me, 150 kilos. Yeah, that's going to happen. I learned how to do that from my trainers from my first running school or from internet from my second trainer. He's Igor Jovanovic who uh, is uh, 11 times uh, full Ironman finisher. So I learned a lot from him when he prepared me for middle distance Ironman. Uh, first year it was really experimentally because I didn't work. I, I run and I did that but I'm not sure how it will work on the big, big group of people. It makes me really happy and that's uh, the main motivation. And I'm happy, when I see all those people happy, I'm also happy and I don't have any money from this, I don't have anything except that, that we are all together, that we always, we have a great community. And we are training, we're having fun and nobody is looking at anybody with a sense of difference. Because in the group we are all the same. When we go out to run 15k, 16k, 20k, we all suffer the same. You know, people talk about competition, but competition is really with yourself. You don't comp- really compete with other people. You use them as a motivation, maybe. Why this group? There are two or three or four or five different groups here in Sarajevo. But you will never have that sense of closeness, that sense of relationship, that sense of family. Now, if I have some problems, I'm nervous, I have uh, problems at work, at home, whatever, I go just run and everything, everything is better. Uh, two and a half years now, uh, I have several half marathons behind me. I have many, many, many races. I, I dumped everything that was bad for me. I started eating healthy. I started running, I started biking, I started swimming, I started uh, hanging out with good friends. I fell in love with running. For me, last year, it was like when someone mentioned me a marathon, it was like, okay, it's not for me because it's not for recreation. But now I can say that I'm preparing a marathon 
and in November uh, with my team I will go on my first marathon in Beirut. I remember that <laughs> moment, actually I cry when uh, Najema sent me a message and she was like, <laughs> I think I will cry again. <laughs> And uh, actually, they donate me uh, five, six hundred of euros to go with them <laughs> to Beirut. And yeah, that's the moment that you realize that you have a great people in your group. If you want to, if we actually want to live our dreams, I think we need to cross that border of comfort zone. The real uh, connection that is inside this group is because of her. Uh, it's because of her kindness. It's because of her uh, sense of uh, helping. When I started this, because I knew a lot of people who can't pay to be a part of running school. And I know a lot of people who would really like to come and to make changes and so, and that's the reason I made this goal. Next goal is a full Ironman race in Frankfurt 2020. We already registered, we are in, and we are preparing now for that. There is no impossible things. <laughs> that's my, uh, my motto, and I really feel it. <laughs>